Okay, today I'm going to build MLG Hunt, commonly known as Steven Subtick now. He is a really popular Twitch streamer. He has around like 250k, I think. Uh, but back in the day of old school Minecraft, he was a big one. Although not many people know of him now because he isn't really doing Minecraft anymore. Anyways, the blocks you need are jungle wood, packed ice, brown kalki powder, yellow terracotta, moss block, green kalki powder, mushroom, black concrete, brown terracotta, stripped dark oak wood, and stripped spruce wood. Those are all 11 blocks you need, so pause now to grab all of them. Okay. The first 9 blocks you need is your jungle wood all the way to your brown terracotta. Okay. Start off the build, get your jungle wood, and go 8 in a row. So 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now go 3 on both sides, and then connect it. And make sure you're placing each block singular, like by itself, 1, 1, 1, not just full on holding the button, because that'll make the jungle wood go in different directions, and you don't want that. Once again, wrap another round of jungle wood around. Just like so. Okay. Go to the back side on the two back blocks like this. Pop out two, and then connect it. Okay. Once done, you can drop that. On the front corner, doesn't matter which corner, go up 10 blocks of packed ice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now on the opposite corner you chose, go up nine blocks of packed ice. Just like so. Okay. Now connect the two tops of those columns you built, making a rectangular shape. Just like so. And it should look like, should look like that. Now with your packed ice, fill it all up to the tippy top. I'll pause to <laughs> I'll skip to it when I'm done. Pause now. Okay, with that done, you can move on to the torso. Start off, get your packed dice, and do one row on the front, and one row on the back. Once done, you can drop that. Next, get your brown conky powder, and go in three from both sides on the front side. In the middle, you place two yellow terracotta. On the back, place eight brown conky powder, just like so. And once done, you can drop both those blocks. Next, get your mushroom block, and on the first layer of packed dice, that's part of the torso, pop out four, and go in three. Two for both sides. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. Just like so. Okay. And now on one corner of each arm, doesn't matter which, go up seven blocks of mushroom, not including the row we already have. So one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. It will give you eight in total. Seven, like so. Okay. Now, in the opposite corner of that corner you just placed, go up seven blocks as well. And then you just connect the tops of those two columns. Like so. All the way up. One, two, three. And it sure looks something like this so far. Now, it's with your mushroom block, fill it all the way up top, all the way to the top of that already set layer you have. Just like so. Just so we can get that easy part out of the way. And we don't have to worry about the mushroom arms later on. Boom. Because the next part of his body is extremely simple. And we just want this already set out. So we could have even an, e an even easier time. <laughs> oh, I don't know why he stopped doing YouTube though. Uh, MLG Hunt, aka you know, Steven Suptic. He does say his. His old bricks of YouTube phone Minecraft is cringe though, so maybe that's why. Okay, and now we're gonna move on to the torso, or the main body, and it's a p complete pattern, just going block by block by block. So if you know the proportions of a Minecraft statue, you just go ahead by yourself. But this is what we're gonna do. One row, moss block. Next row, green concrete powder. Next row, moss block. As you see, we're just gonna keep going the same pattern over and over again, just like that person from Blue's Clues shirt, okay? Just keep going up until we get to 12 blocks in height. So it would be four blocks above this mushroom arm if you want to go by yourself. Okay. Next row, green talcum powder. Next row, moss block. Next row, green talcum powder. Next row, moss block. Next row, green talcum powder. 
Next row, Moss Block. Next row, next row, Green Cog Powder. And that's the front of him done, but let's do one final detail. Go where the belt buckle is, and on the top row, break those two, and move out one at each end, and place four mushroom on top, just like so. Yeah. We can move on to the back side of him, which is, you know, the same pattern over and over again. So if you don't want to listen to me, you just want to fill it all over, you can do it yourself. Okay. First row, moss block. Second row, green cocky powder. Third row, moss block. Fourth row, green cocky powder. Fifth row, moss block. Sixth row, green cocky powder. Seventh row, moss block. <clears throat> Seven, <laughs> I mean eighth. Eighth row, green cocky powder. Ninth row, moss block. And tenth row, green cocky powder. The sides, you know, you can just fill that in yourself. I don't think I need to tell you what to do. Mm -hmm. I love the sound of moss blocks, by the way. Okay, and we want the shoulder blades. Go in one block, like so. With your, any block doesn't matter, as long as it's not the green cocky powder. Just place green cocky powder on top of those placement blocks. Just like so. And once done, you can drop both of those blocks, and we can reorganize the inventory. Okay. We can move on to the head now. Start off on the head, get your mushroom block, pop it out, and make the room row one on the front. Just like so. Okay. Move it out to the back. We'll make the room row two. Just like so. Okay. Destroy the number Roman numeral two by popping out one more on each side on the back side, like so. And moving on the front side and filling in the whole front. Okay. On the front row, go in two mushroom block from each side, like so. In the middle, place four black concrete. For the next row, it's all mushroom block, so just cross it over. From the sides, go in two mushroom blocks on each side, and then place the black concrete next to those two mushroom blocks, and then two mushroom blocks in the middle. On the next row, place one mushroom on each end, then get your brown terracotta, place one on any side of the middle, pop it out, move it all the way across, just like so. On the sun, you can drop the brown terracotta, and then you can drop the black concrete as well. Let's move this over. Okay, next row. Get your mushroom and do six, so sort of directly above the, the unibrow, just like so. Next, on the left side of his head, on the, your left side, go to here and get your strip spruce wood. Go two and go across two to the right. Okay, go across two to the right where you stripped oak, dark oak. Then go one strip spruce wood, and then the rest is dark oak. And end off at the front of his head, do one final row of dark oak on top. Just like so. Okay. You can move on to the side of his head. Get your mushroom block and go all the way across and so you get to the final three, then stop. Then make a square on the final right side, like so. Do the same design on the other side. Go to the end to get to the final three. Then make a square on the bottom left, just like so. Okay, well it's done, you can drop your mushroom block, and we can do, just finish off the hair design. On the last row of the right side of his head, go all the way up with dark oak, so just go up seven blocks of dark oak, like so. Okay. Yeah. Now get your shift through wood, make a staircase going up, just completely following the lines of the mushroom, like so. Next, get your shift dark oak wood, and the bottom row, Place one, and place two ship spruce wood on top of it, then three ship dark oak wood on top of that. Next row, place two dark oak wood, then place two ship spruce wood on top of that, and go up one on the far left, and go up two ship dark oak, two dark oak wood on top of that. Next row, go three dark, next column I guess, go three dark oak wood. Next column, go up two ship oak, I mean spruce. And then one dark oak. Next column, go a dark oak, a strip spruce, and a dark oak. 
Next column. Oh, that actually. Oh, that does not look like a good symbol. <laughs> Uh, next column is three shit dark. Oh, that is death. Oh, that was that's two blocks away from being a. Uh, I mean, actually, but it's one block away from being a very bad symbol. <laughs> okay, next slide. Uh, we'll go by columns from right to left. On the far right column, go two strip spruce wood, two strip dark oak wood, and three strip spruce wood. Next column, one strip dark oak. I'm going to say oak, dark oak and spruce. One dark oak, three spruce, one dark oak, and two spruce. Next column, one dark oak, one spruce, one dark oak, one spruce, one dark oak, one spruce, and one dark oak. Next column, two dark oak, one spruce, three dark oak. Next column, two dark oak, one spruce, three dark oak. Next column, one spruce, three dark oak. Next column, four dark oak. Just like so. Luckily, this side of his head does not have a symbol that is representative of a hate crime. Okay. Go underneath and just place four placement blocks just like so. Doesn't matter what block you use. On the far two left, place two dark oak. Place a strip spruce wood and place a dark oak. And then you can break those placement blocks like so. We'll go by column again, starting from the far left side. One dark oak, two spruce, one dark oak, three spruce. Next column, one dark oak, and go all the way up with spruce. Next column, one dark oak, one spruce, two dark oak, three spruce. Next column, three spruce, four dark oak. Next column, two dark oak, one spruce, two dark oak, one spruce, one dark oak. Final column, four dark oak, two spruce, one dark oak. Yeah. And move on to the top of his head. Okay. We'll start from the bottom, I mean the back left, to the front. To start off, get a whole row of placing blocks underneath, just like so. So we get the wood all facing one direction. Just like so. Okay. We'll go in from left to right. So, three dark oak, one spruce. Okay, I, I meant two dark oak, one spruce, then three dark oak. Next row, two dark oak, two spruce, two dark oak. Next row. 3 dark oak, 1 spruce, 2 dark oak. Next row, 2 dark oak, 2 spruce, 2 dark oak. Next row, 2 dark oak, 3 spruce, 1 dark oak. Final row, 5 dark oak, and actually, I mean 4 dark oak and 2 spruce, just like so. That's top of his head done, pause if you need to. And with that, Steve, uh, uh, St Steven Subtick or MLG Hunt is done. Uh, this is not a quest. I just decided to build him because I want to give some honor to his, you know, his old school stuff and what he does now. Uh, if you have any more Minecraft skins or YouTube's, I do. I can do it, or at least I can try.